End of semester summary assignment, question number 24. Graph the exponential function f of x equals 3 halves times 4 thirds raised to the x minus 1. Use the following to help you plot the function. When x equals 1, f of x equals. So we're going to take this right here and substitute 1 in for x, which makes it 4 thirds raised to the first power, which is just 4 thirds. So we need to simplify 4 thirds times 3 halves. We can simplify first by crossing out the 3's and then 4 divided by 2 leaves me with 2. So then it's 2 minus 1 which is 1. Or if you prefer we could do 3 times 4 which is 12 divided by 2 times 3 is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is still 1. It's up to you how you would rather do that. Uh, the next one is to find the y-intercept. Now over here I've given some, uh, uh, the, the textbook, the inter uh, interactive textbook, tells you how to find the y-intercept by adding a and c here and here. Now that's not something I memorize. So when you get to the final, uh, if you can't remember how to find it, the easiest way is to remember that the y-intercept here is when x equals 0. So we just plug a 0 in for x anytime we want to find the, uh, the y-intercept in any equation, not just for this one. So whenever x equals 0, it'll cross the y-axis. So if I put 0 in here, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So I can ignore this right here because it is a 1, and 1 times whatever is the other answer, uh, or the other number. So this is just 1, 1 times 3 halves is 3 halves. Or I can think of this as 1 and 1 half. And the way that's beneficial is thinking of this as 1 and 1 half, is when we subtract 1, I'm left with 1 half. If you're not comfortable with that, we could find a common denominator here with the 1 by making the 1 2 over 2. And then 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 gives me 3 minus 2 is 1, and you keep the denominator, which makes it 1 over 2, which is 1 half. The next one is a horizontal asymptote of the exponential function is at y equals. Now this is something you do need to memorize and one of the very few uh, on graphing and formulas that you will need to memorize. The horizontal asymptote is this last number is c in your exponential function and it's this all of this including the um, the positive or negative value here so or the sign. So this happens at negative 1. So we're going to type in negative 1. Now because Maple TA is set up to help you graph this, we're going to graph these in order. If I were to do the y-intercept first and then the point, I think it goes backwards. But we'll, we'll try it out just to help you out. So the first one is at 1, 1. So we're going to go in the x direction, 1. And then the y direction, 1 for our first one. And then the y-intercept is at 1 half. That means the y-axis here and try and eyeball 1 half and then give me the asymptote at negative 1 and we can click anywhere down here on negative 1. It doesn't matter just as long as it's down on y equals negative 1. And there we go. So we get our uh, nice uh, upward or increasing exponential function and making sure that we did some point then the y-intercept and then our um, a horizontal asymptote so that it graphs it correctly. If you did it backwards and did uh, this one and then this one, you'll end up with a different uh, a different graph. All right, that's our answer for question number 24.